Hey guys, and welcome back to Number Nine Farms. Today I'm going to be doing a little, well, I should say tonight, um, a video that I don't usually ever do, but what I, um, we're going to be going on a camping trip, which this is really, really big because we never leave the farm because we can't, honestly. So this is like some huge thing we're undertaking. Um, so what I want to do, tell you about is we went to Dollar Tree today which this was the first really for us too because i know yes i go to dollar tree i go in and get a few things and i'm out the door um but i said let's go to dollar tree today and see if we can get some of our stuff for the the camping trip so um i want to start off with i want you to know how much we spent and this was like some kind of way <laughs> unbelievable and I don't even think I've ever in my entire life gone into Dollar Tree and spent a hundred dollars like the most we've ever spent is probably what twenty thirty dollars maybe maybe or like we were having a birthday party or went and bought some stuff, stuff like that yeah maybe but anyways I'm gonna start off with this so on the camping trip there are four boys and there is going to be one girlfriend so um and that is for Colton. So um, we are going to be traveling from here, North Carolina, to uh, Michigan, Upper Peninsula, Michigan. So it's a right good ways, and we will be camping the entire time there and back. So we bought the uh, green tea, Arizona. We bought four of those because I'm thinking about things for the ride. And instead of like stopping somewhere to buy anything, um, we'll have these in the cooler. Um, we've bought, we, we've really, we've had most of our camping equipment and our backpacker equipment um, because we used to do that all the time. But we have uh, Arizona sweet tea. We, all this was a dollar. Now, this is not a dollar, but I'll talk about that in a minute. Okay, I got um, the Gatorades for them. The, these were you know pretty good for a dollar i thought mm -hmm. and i got some socks for dusty because he seems to go through socks like but these were there for the dollar tree and they're nice little socks actually and then we got a coffee for the camping trip because we won't of course need a lot of coffee because there's really only three of us that drink coffee but we will need that yeah, we will need some coffee. And it kind of looks like a little you-know-what bag. <laughs> yes. So um, we're going to give that a go. Um, of course, you always need Reynolds Wrap on a, or aluminum foil. This is great for washing your dishes. And these um, fruit bars, they'll be good for the um, trip. And some mountain mix, trail mix which these are pretty nice size little bags. It's a five ounce bag for a dollar. <laughs> I'll be like Bruce, he used to say all the time, he says, I'm gonna go ask her if this is really a dollar. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, yes, Bruce, it's the Dollar Tree. And Sophia, that's not for you. No, these aren't doggy treats. So, and then this one here has four individual packets in it and they are only one ounce packets. So that's a small portion. Um, I got these uh, flaming Hot Mac and Cheese, and these are not really for the trip, but uh, Kobe loves these, so he likes anything hot. And these really aren't for the trip either, but these were a dollar, these corn tortillas, and these are great for our lasagna that we make. I think Bruce about broke a vertebrae in his neck when he saw yeah. these. A dollar. <laughs> So, I'm gonna go ask. Is it really a doll? Um, these right here, he likes both of those, so he got those. And of course, when you're on a camping trip, um, you always need some jute rope. Uh, we found a little clothesline there for hanging our clothes up. Um, what we did find one time when we went to the Disney campground in. Florida, mm -hmm. our clothes never dried. <laughs> yeah, the Fort, we, Fort Wilderness Campground. Um, that was in 2004, so maybe it'll dry by now. <laughs> yeah, let's go see. Um, 
the the ramen noodle soup now these of course would be really good for a camping trip but we've only bought one of these because the boys love these type of things um i don't eat them but um colby said he was going to try this out i don't know if it's good we'll go back and get some more but this is you know these are great for you just pour the water in um i got a little candle um they were what I'm gonna do for this is if we're gonna see sitting at the table or something like that, um, we could put a candle on and this you could let the little well fill up and you could drop some uh, citronella essential oil mm -hmm. into there and you have a cheap um, alternative and it would also work. And then of course I bought four of each of these types. I got the ranch tuna salad, the lemon pepper tuna salad, and the chicken salad now we used to buy these all the time when we cleaned cottages or the boys took them for school lunches um and they all love them so these were perfect and i also bought these and i did see at walmart also had these two for the same price and this already comes with like a little um spork maybe or something spoon type thing in it but this spicy thai chili this one is really good, really, really good, okay? And of course, everywhere we have gone for the last week. Been no sugar. There's been no sugar. We saw these cute little bags at the Dollar Tree and I got two of them only because they would be good for the camping trip for the coffee. And Bruce wanted to try these. Wow, why not? <laughs> It's for only a dollar. Um, you always can use some um, zip ties. Zip ties for the uh, trip, and uh, they, there's these come in handy. And there's been a, many a time we've been at the shows, and people say, "Yeah, um, held our tent together." To hold our tent or anything to help, you know, something. That, and of course, I bring these out, and or put their signs up. Yep. Everything. So those things are great for a lot. And then I only found two of these bags there, but um, I'll probably go back again one more time and get a few more of these these um, trail mixes because they only had a few of those and the uh, honey roasted peanuts. But I know everybody likes those. And we won't need a whole lot of ketchup and um, mustard, but uh, if we have any hot dogs or hamburgers, and plus, you know, once we still get to our destination, we're still gonna have to eat too. Yes. And then I had bought the boys, um, I actually had ordered some of those little cereal packets that come like in a cup, because we don't even buy cereal ever, but sometimes you have to make exceptions for different things. And also it makes food like this fun, so to speak, because um, when you, you know, we don't ever buy it. So once we do buy it, um, it's like a treat. It's like when you get the Lunchables when you go on a field trip. Um, but anyways, I got the milk and this is shelf stable milk. And that's, this was there for a dollar. It is a gluten-free milk. And it's also, it's out of uh, Logan, Utah from Gosner Foods. So this, this is good to keep on hand anyway. Good preps. Yep, good preps. So um, that's something I liked. And then of course, here around here, um, Colby loves the Hickory Snoke barbecue. So I go ahead and buy it for him. Oh, and okay. of course, they had this huge aisle of doggy treats. And <laughs> did you see her head? Well, <laughs> did you say doggy treats, mama? Did you say treats? Yeah, I did buy you some, didn't I? Of course, these, and of course, I've already figured out, you know, because the dogs are going and they're going to have to be having their treats. So, um, and then of course, we got some of these uh, like little, I guess you want to call them fakey grams. Yeah. But these are always good. You know that. And I got some of these famous mushrooms that we have been trying to get for a long time and they were actually there. And of course, the first thing I think about is 
oh, if they had enough of these, I could put these in the freeze dryer. Always prepping. So, yeah, I have my brain, that's how it thinks. And then I found um, two of these, that was all there was there um, for the uh, disinfectant wipes. And of course, Bruce found his own uh, little treat. Yes. I will be testing one of those this evening. <laughs> and of course I got those because for our coffee. Um I do have in our camping equipment our own little coffee cup. But if we're somewhere that we can't like wash the dishes, um those would be good. And then I did find at Walmart, um I found the uh great value fruit and cream variety pack. Um, this is, of course, good for camping. And we, I bought some more of the apples and we've got the apples and orange, so we're gonna be dehydrating those. Uh, these were in the camping section. And of course, you can't have enough of these no matter what. Um, utility lighters, the Ozark Trail, these were 88 cents. Wow. And, I picked up two more movies because, of course, we've got the old uh, car thing because, you know, our car is old. So we have uh, one you just put in the car and hang over the seats like the old school kind. And I bought The Boys Interstellar and Here Comes the Boom, Grown Ups 2, Joe Dirt 2, Pixels, and Paul Blart, Small Cop 2. So these, I think one was seven and one was five. And um, I bought some of these um, paraffin wax because I'm going to make some of the fire starters so that if we're able to have the fire at the, in the fire pit. Um, I bought myself some of the yellow corn grits. Um, mm, and they are delicious. Yeah, this is one of my favorite foods. And I found these in the um, candy aisle at uh walmart and this right here this with a cheese stick is amazing and they're from wisconsin wisconsin that's one thing about wisconsin and michigan everywhere you go there's these summer sticks. sauces yes <laughs> it is like the beer and snack capital of the universe it really yes. is yes and it everywhere we go we've got to buy some um beef sticks and they're all there's always so many different good ones and what was that one we found with cody it was like a bourbon, bourbon. Um, maple bourbon or something. Yeah, oh my gosh. Whew. That I could have ate my way all the way back here. They were really good. Um, this one is the gluten-free, the Bridgeford. This was also on the same aisle. So um, like we, we like to, of course, all of us like to eat cheese and um, summer sausage. And Bruce you actually used to work for Hickory Farms back in the 80s. <laughs> That's, we're not going to get all our dirty secrets out tonight, are we? But what's funny is is that we would go and put the kiosks up in the malls. And the summer sausage, of course, you know. Um, and then one of the ones where Daryl, he, he, um, he owned like a little sandwich shop. And they would make the best sandwiches ever. I'm telling you, like I haven't had a sandwich that good nope. since then. And I, I miss that. That was a good old 80 time. And I also bought these. Um, I think this was like, I don't know. I'm not going to say it, but I think it was like four bucks. And it's uh, good for putting the water in for the camping truck. So I think I did pretty good today. So basically this is probably not even, maybe what, $125 for everything on the table. Yeah. Cause, um, oh, and then Bruce got these today um, because he wanted to organize his uh, Prep free, freezer. <laughs> my freezers and my pantry. Okay, so he wants to hang each one of them. Of course, these were at the Dollar Tree. He wants to put one on each uh, rack. So he knows, what, because we have so many of our, you know, things we've canned ourselves. Yes, our and freeze dried, and I just. Yeah, so I, he wanted to have a little bit more organization with it. And this was. 
today. Our second pick. So we've had we had a pick yesterday, and of course we've ate a lot. Plus we had this pick today. And um, also I wanted to tell you about these. We have to um, race out there to get the figs before the chickens today. Uh, my neighbor um, brought me home two bags of 25 pound onions. Thank you, Ken. And mm. this is for, he, you know, he knew we'd be able to do something with them. So yep. I'm gonna go ahead and freeze dry some, some more. And I'm also gonna um, do the, I've, I've got plenty of my own, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and make the um, peppers and onions. No, yeah, the peppers and onions, the cabbage. What do you call it? My relish. Yeah. I don't know why my brain was not working. Okay, guys, that was really all else I wanted to share right now. I just wanted to be able to get a little something out to you for some content that I had going on because tomorrow I will be canning tomatoes and and um probably something else. Um, I'm thinking about doing some more. Oh, we're gonna do pork loins in the um new presto digital the presto pan. digital plus i'm gonna probably have to use the little one also so guys please bear with me while i try to get through um this little technical issue that i'm having <laughs> all right guys have a good night thanks